This is everyone's house. This is not Kathy's house or my house. This is your house. 
all of our houses and everything. It's a really special place in West Virginia, and they had it decorated unbelievable, and there's all kinds of pretty stuff here, and there's lots and lots and lots of history here. But anyway, it's really special to have all these young kids here and everything. Nothing gets any better than that. So anyway, think about these bigger kids that have been playing the most beautiful music under the sun. They're really, really gifted and they're really talented and everything. We're very, very, very proud of them. Now, before we get any deeper here, I would tell you just this. Love your parents, your grandparents, your uncles, your friends. Embrace one another and love each other. Absolutely, this life has too much bitterness in it. Too much competition and too much bitterness. Now, we all don't want to be winners. And I really, truly believe with all my heart the good Lord wants you to work hard and to do your very, very, very best. That's for sure. But at the same time, he wants you to love each other. And he wants to love you. So, we're going to read. Can I say one thing? Absolutely. When you all are at school and you're having lunch or you're out at recess and, you know, you see someone that's standing around that maybe doesn't have a friend or they didn't have one to eat lunch with, you all go over because everyone's different. Not everyone's the same. So you can have all kinds of different friends and everything, but always try to make everyone feel wanted and feel good like you all would feel good. You know, you want people to treat you like that. You want to treat people just like that you want them to treat you all, okay? You all remember that? All right. Let me, let me add just one thing to that. You'll find as you go through life, because... Some of you here are from Pineville, right in the middle of the coal field. Well, I grew up, my grandparents, my mom and dad, grew up within a rock's throw of Pineville. And they never had indoor plumbing. They never, ever had indoor plumbing. Now, and so we started with nothing. And now, I'm your governor, Kathy's your first lady. You know. Kathy was a little kid, only child, grew up in Prosperity, West Virginia, and was 4-H all the way through and through. You know, truly, you know, something that you'll find in life, and I want you to listen, because this is really important, what I had to say to you right now. If you'll do something for nice, nice for somebody else, you'll feel better about it than anything anybody could give you. You always remember one thing, the giver, the giver, not, not getting something, the giver is the one that always wins. When you're able to give, you'll win. Okay, Kathy, lead us off. Okay, guys. Now, how are we doing this? Everybody knows the story that they're reading, right? We're reading the night before Christmas. Now you're in blue. Is that right? Uh -huh. He's blue, you're uh -huh. red. Okay. So that's Kathy. Leading us off. Switch cards. No wonder I was confused. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Do y'all know this story? Yes. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Okay. <coughs> well, my book has a different page in it. <laughs> Children. Have you skipped a page? Did I? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar puns danced in their heads. Okay. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Now. 
When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. And I'm going to be on the right page. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the matter is. <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. Okay. Let's when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. They had some wild names, didn't they? <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. And I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a pound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as, was as, white as the snow. The stump of the pie he held tight in his the stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. <coughs> he had a broad face and a little round belly. <laughs> that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside on his nose, no, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Children, Vicki asked me to tell you all, as soon as the band plays, we have cookies and punch for you. Okay, yeah, man, talking. So, band, ten, hunt, hey, hey. chin. Shoulders. Up, back, down. Attitude. Sassy. sassy. All right. <laughs> Governor, I don't always let him say sassy. All right, here we go. I got you on the plane. What? Do y'all want to do? Well, make yourself up for it.